Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews. You see my face again, you know what that means. It's convention day, it's another vlog. Uh, today we're going to Doki Doki in Manchester. It is the final one, so uh, come and join us. We are meeting up uh, with Ash in a moment to head to the con, and then we're meeting Morgan and Thomas at the con. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll meet some more people that we know. I don't know. We're just going to make this up as a go along. So come and join me for the last ever Doki Doki. Okay, so we are here. Uh, we're here at Doki Doki now. Uh, it is very hot. Uh, it's probably a bit too hot. I am Tatsu for today. Uh, so yes, the tatsu from Way of the House Husband. Uh, Hi. I think. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Hold on. Uh, sorry for that interruption. Uh, but yeah, we're here. It's hot. We're dying. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you dying yet? I am. <laughs> yeah. We're dying. Um, those drums are very noisy. I don't know if you can actually hear me over any of this but this is like the first hall of stalls and everything so we're just wandering around now
Okay, so we are here at the Mayan 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 made cafe at the at Doki Doki. Um, we just I'm a regular. <laughs> say it again. I'm a regular. I'm a regular. We have a regular <laughs> attendee here, and I'll just go pan around. <laughs> say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> I'm just vlogging it all, oh, there's nothing really over there. But yeah, all the maids over here. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with... Nope. Uh, this set. I'm gonna go with this set. Yay! So I think for this one I'm gonna get that with it. But I might also get a Coke on the side. So, yay! This is the maid that's serving us. This is who we've got. I mean, there we go, that's who we've got. All right, so our food's arrived. This looks very nice. It's like a cream puff bun. Uh, Doriaki. yep. I got the welcome to the dark side drink. That is very nice. That actually started off blue, if you believe it. And I just got a Coke. But yeah, I got a... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My photo, thank you. My photo. So, anyway, I got um, Tatsu's little dog that's on his apron doing on there. Okay, you can get out of it. Hello. What did you get? <laughs> Cute. We got noodles and some coke.
Okay, I'm back home after Doki Doki. My God, that was way too hard. Oh, my wristband must look. I've been in the hospital. <laughs> hospital wristband. Uh, uh. Uh, but yeah, um, it was way, way too hot today. Um, <sighs> so hot. Uh, I still enjoyed uh, the con. I enjoyed what happened. I enjoyed the experience. But we are currently in the middle of a heat wave in the UK as of recording this, as of uploading it. I don't know what the weather's going to be like on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, we are in, currently in the middle of a heat wave. It was probably going... It was 29 degrees outside, so I'm pretty sure it was probably maybe 33, 34 degrees on the inside of the con, so way too hot. Uh, we all pretty much had fans, we had plenty of water, and that still didn't really work. But, let's uh, get to the haul. Apart from it being way too hot, it, it was a good con. So we'll um, we'll get kick started on the haul. So first thing I'm going to say is I came third in the cosplay competition. Um, the Doki Doki Festival cosplay open. So there we go. You probably can't read that, but if you can, so yeah, I came third with my Tatsu cosplay from Where the House Husband. I honestly was not expecting to win, so thank you so much to the Doki Doki team for picking me to be third. Um, but I was honestly contemplating not even entering because of how hot it was going to be. But since all my friends that I went with, um, Ash and Morgan, they, you know, they signed up. So I was just like, ah, you know what, I might as well. And I came third. So I got that medal and then I also got some other goodies for as part of my prize i got three different uh manga volumes they're all volume one as a starting point so i got kaiju number eight volume one which unfortunately has been a little bit damaged i got hell's paradise volume one i have um watched the anime for this and i did really enjoy the anime so let's just see where the manga goes i guess and I also got Alice in Borderland Volume 1. Now this, which once again has been a little bit damaged, that that is that one is from me. I don't think that's from them. This Kaiju number 8 being sticky might be from them. I'm not sure. But yeah, Alice in Borderland. I've watched the series on it. Uh, it's not an anime. It was a live action series on, I think it was on Netflix. Um, so I've watched that. The series was really good. So maybe the manga will be too so i'm excited to read that and i also got a funko pocket pop keychain of balloon foxy and that is super adorable i like all of the new um fnaf stuff that funko have been putting out for the balloon designs but foxy is my favorite animatronic so i'm really glad that foxy is, is the one i want now for everything else, that's my drink. Um, for everything else, it's literally just purchases. But I'll start off with these photographers that were there. So it's cosplay, uh, it's just cosplay.co.uk. So that was like the main event photographer that had like a little studio set up and was taking um, like proper nice photos. There was another photographer going around um, that one was literally just wandering around the con getting pictures of people uh, that was Robert oh hold on uh, I'm back sorry about that uh, someone at the door so the other cosplayer that was uh, not the other the other photographer that was going around was Robert Mann MA photography so this is his business card you seriously can't read any of this because it is so so small but I'm gonna follow I'm gonna you know follow on my Instagram because I want those photos he took of me now for purchases they are all in this big ass Jurassic Park bag 
what's that that's my apron i don't need that that's my hair but i also don't need that i'm actually going to start with this wall scroll <laughs> it's a it's a fate zero wall scroll uh, fate zero is one of my top five uh, favorite anime so this is like <laughs> um I, they're they're all naked oh god it's caught so yeah they're, they're all naked <laughs> I honestly can't remember all of their names apart from uh, Kuritsugu and Kiri and Gilgamesh up here. I think that's Gilgamesh. No, that's not Gilgamesh. These aren't the servants. These are the masters. That's the one. That was the crazy guy. Yeah, that's that's the crazy guy. I can't remember his name. But yeah. Um, it was honestly, um, Kuritsugu being on here was the main reason I wanted to get this because it's, it, it, it's Kuritsugu and I love him. The only one that's questionable is this guy because he's a kid, but you know what? Eh. It's my first anime wall scroll and I had to go all out with it being a really big one. So I'm just going to roll this back up. I didn't get a... I didn't get a business card from this guy because I think that was just a soul selling merch rather than an individual artist. Uh, this one. Oh, that's some blind bag stuff. So I'm actually going to leave these to last and we'll open them on camera. Uh, I got the official, the Doki Doki t-shirt. In 3XL. I'm not going to open it, but you can see it there. And that was from Genki Gear T-shirts. So they were the ones that I, I I don't know if they designed it. Yeah, so they're the ones that designed the T-shirt for the con. So yeah, so we've got the Doki Doki official T-shirt. We have oh yeah. This is from the same stall as the wall scroll. So once again, I don't actually know the name of the stall. But let me just rotate him around. It is a figure of King Ghidorah. So this is from 1990. Is it from 1990? It says 1998 on the back. Yeah, Bandai 1998. So this is an old figure. So this is an older figure of King Ghidorah. Um, you, I've, I've wanted a figure of like the old design King Ghidorah for a while. And this is like officially one of the, the Bandai ones. So one of the Japanese ones. So I got him. I'm not going to do a review on this guy because he's very simple. But yeah, he's very cool. I love him. So we've got a little King Ghidorah figure. From a different stall, once again, I didn't get a business card from this stall either. They didn't give me one. But I got a plushie of Zapdos, the legendary uh, electric bird Pokemon. He's so cute. I love him. He is um, an official uh, Japanese one as well. He's not one of the ones that's made for like this country. But yeah, for sale in Japan only. So I don't know if this is a Pokemon Center one. Like the official Pokemon Center plush, but I don't know. It's a Zapdos. It's cute. It's a bird. It's cute. I've got stuff all over this carpet, so I'm going to put you on the bag. Um, I think that's it in there. Oh yeah. Uh, Ash was giving out some little freebies, a friend Ash, so I got a little mushroom dude pin from them. And they also went on holiday and got me this cute little <laughs> Bowser hearing. It says Lucky on it, but it's Bowser. It's cute and weird, and I love it. The rest, right, let's get all these art prints out, because that's not the final of everything that I bought so 
So let's get these big books out of the way. Is there anything else in there? Yes, there is. So from, I believe this was um, Sore Thumb Games and Sore Thumb Anime. They're a, like a retro game shop based in York. Uh, but they also sell some anime stuff. So I got a couple of Japanese Pokemon cards. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what set these are from, but I wanted them. So we've got Corviknight V and also Corviknight V Max. Now, if you know me, which I don't know, a lot of you on here don't actually know me, uh, Corviknight is my favourite Pokemon. I love, I love that bird. So when I saw those cards, I had to get it. Uh, there was also a stall selling like anime books. Well, anime art books. So I got the Demon Slayer one. There you go. Kind of had to. The Demon Slayer art book. Uh, they also had like video game art books. So I got the Devil May Cry 5 um, official artwork book. So that artwork on the cover looks really nice. And obviously we've got the three guys on the back. No, Virgil. A Virgil is not on the front or the back of the book. But oh well. It's a Devil May Cry book. I don't... Devil May Cry stuff isn't actually that easy to find. It's, it's quite hard to find. So that, that's everything out of the bags. And we will now go on to the Artist Alley stuff. So this is the stuff made by independent uh, peeps. I got this cute little key ring of a husky or a wolf, I'm not sure, but it's, it's, it's a husky or a wolf and a little cup of tea. That's adorable. And I got that from Fox Hat. So there we go, Fox Hat. And there is the socials. That is very cute. I'm gonna have to go and follow all of the artists that I got stuff from because some of this stuff is adorable. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah. uh, these are from Slightly Ghosts. Yep, Slightly Ghosts. And there is all of their socials. One of these is for a friend, so I'm hoping they don't actually watch this before I um, give this to them. So I've got a pin of a vulture. And it's actually a really nice pin. And then this other one is for a friend and it's a bat. I'm not going to show that at the screen for too long. And then in this envelope, we have some stickers that I also got. So those are, these are all vultures because I love vultures. Vincent, my main uh, furry OC that I only have art of, is part vulture. So we've got this one picking at a, a carcass with some bones. We've got this one, which is the same picture that's on the pin, the same design on the pin. And we also have this one of it eating uh, some flesh off a dead carcass. And from looking at it, these are all uh, griffin vultures, which is good because uh, Vincent is actually based off a griffin vulture as well. This, These are not going to go back in here nicely are they nope so i'm just gonna have to pop those to the side so yeah that was all by slightly ghosts and we have this art print which is from cherry rabbit cherry rabbit yeah cherry rabbit so here we go cherry rabbit and there's the other side and i had to get this one being a furry sexy werewolf <laughs> I, sort of, I sort of had to get the sexy werewolf because I, I couldn't leave him alone I couldn't leave him there he was cool so yeah what's in this little bag but we have some pins now I believe these are pins so this is from Fox Leap and I'm pretty sure I bought pins a pin from them at Rakucon. I, I think this is where I got the 
Land Before Time pin from. So this time I got a Griffin pin. So that's really nice. And I also got Laika the Space Dog. So that was really cute. Laika deserved better. So I got those pins. This is another art print. The rest of it I'm pretty sure is just all art prints. So this art print is from OU Illustrate. So there's the uh, business card. There's the socials. So it's OU Illustrate. Uh, it's a good looking devil. Demon man. And it says sinning is sexy on the back of his jacket. I, I had to get that. It's, it's, it's funny. So there we go, the little handsome demon. Demon man. So that was from OU Illustrate. I just really liked that art. I've, actually, I just really liked the jacket the guy was wearing. And then we have the final art print which is from Lindsay Green Illustrations. You might recognize them from my Rakucon um, vlog. I did buy from them again. I got two art prints again. And the first one is a Detroit Become Human, Connor. So we've got uh, Machine Connor and Deviant Connor. So I'll split down the middle. And we have another Watership Down art print. Um, when I went, when I got bought from them at Doki, no, at Rakucon, they had two Watership Down prints, and I honestly didn't know which one to get. Obviously, you saw which one I ended up going with. But when I saw that they were going to Doki Doki as well, I was just like, oh, I can get the other uh, Watership Down print that I wanted to get. I also actually wanted to get this one last time, but um, couldn't because I was out of money. So yeah, that was everything I got, uh, but I also went to the Mayan Maid Cafe at Doki Doki. This is the first time I've ever been to a maid cafe. I honestly really enjoyed it. And at the end of it, you get a little Polaroid picture taken with one of the maids. So that is the picture I had taken. So there you can see, there's me as Tatsu. And yeah, that was really fun. This That is the maid that uh, served me and Ash. Because it was me and Ash that went. Morgan had wandered off to do their own thing, I think. They wanted to go see some other friends. So yeah, me and Ash went. This is the maid that served us. So for my first experience, I thought the best one to have a picture with would be the one that served us. I can't remember her name. Um, it is earlier on in the vlog. Um, I did do a little bit at the May, little tiny bit of a vlog at the maid cafe, so go back to catch the name of the maid that served us. I cannot remember, just looking at this photo. But, yay. I bought a lot of shit. <laughs> I spent a lot of money at this con, and my god, my ass is going numb. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of money. I enjoyed it i would have really enjoyed it if we weren't in the middle of a heat wave and we weren't all dying so yay thank you very much for watching guys and i shall see you all in the next video whatever that'll be bye hi a uh, little bit to actually stick on the end of the vlog i never actually opened the blind bags <laughs> I forgot to open them, so let's have a look at what I got. Uh, I can't remember, this stall didn't have any business cards either, it was just one of them selling lots of little random things. So I've got uh, this Jujutsu Kaisen uh, like figure, blind bag figure. I got a little plushy uh, keychain sort of thing, I'm hoping to get Nanami <laughs> or one of the wolves. And I got a Demon Slayer one that is uh, like the hilts of the sword, which is pretty cool. So let's open these up and have a look. And I don't have a knife. Oh well, we shall just tear into these boxes because these boxes will end up going in the bin. 
So let's just tear into them. Starting with the Demon Slayer one. So the Demon Slayer, the sword hilt. Oh, I need to get used to. Come on. Let me in. There we go. Hoping I got Rengoku. You can get... The box that these came in showed you who you could get. You pretty much get all the Hashira. I did not get Rengoku. Oh, they're quite nice little keychains. Ah, I got Mitsuri. So I got little Mitsuri's hilt with all the hearts on. And it also has this little tag on it with a little bit of Japanese that probably says Mitsuri Kanroji or something like that. I don't know. Or oh, Love Hashira, maybe. But yeah. So I got Mitsuri's um, sword hilt, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go for the plushie now. Mm, the, the, the seal broke. Um, so I'm hoping it's Nanami or one of the wolves. <laughs> it's, it's Yuji. Oh my god, it's so small. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's adorable. Look how small this thing is. For, for comparison, he has a Lego minifigure. It's so small. <laughs> this guy's is so tiny. It's adorable. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I got Yuji now. <laughs> He's so cute. You go back in the box. Okay, on to the, um, the actual the little blind figure for Jujutsu Kaisen. Who do I want? You can get Sukuna. So you can get Sukuna, Gojo, uh, Itadori, or Megumi. And Gojo. Obviously, I would want Gojo. I did not get Gojo. I got Megumi. I didn't know Megumi again with the wolves. Ah, he does. He comes with his. He does come with his wolves. That is a lot of packaging. Okay, I'm actually glad I got Megami now. Because he comes with his wolves. Come on out. Come on out. So yeah, he comes with his de um, devil dogs, demon dogs. I don't know what you want to call them. Alright, so that goes there. So that goes here. And then Megami himself stand. Actually, I can take that effect piece out for now. It's not much there. So I'll stand him there. But he does not peg into that base very well. Good job with figures like this. You sort of put them on the shelf and then forget about them. But he does not want to peg into that base. But here we go. Here is this little figure of Megami with his demon dogs, or devil dogs, devil dogs, demon dogs, his wolves. I'm just going to say his wolves. Oh no, he died. Let's try that again. Yeah, he doesn't want to peg in that well, so I might have to super glue him on. But there he is. Oh, that's a nice little diorama with his wolves. I like that. I need to get more blind boxes like that. Um, okay, yeah, we are actually done now. So once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye!